Maggie, thank you very much. First, thank you for giving giving me a couple of minutes to talk about this exciting new project where you portray a, a mean uh, killing machine. So, <laughs> thank you. Let, it's my favorite subject. <laughs> let, let me start by asking. I've always found a, a very fascinating uh, those movies that feature so many uh, fight fighting choreographies. Uh, and, and and you've worked on, on on movies with this type of choreography before. So how complicated was the the physical preparation for this movie and the actual shooting? Because it's never done in one take. You have to to do it in so many times all over again. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes over several days, you know, you're doing it. <laughs> and so really, you're 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 doing this choreography, and you have to keep your energy at a certain level, no matter what time of day it is, right? Because when it's cut together, right, it's all got to look seamless. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, the choreography, it was not um, easier or harder than anything I've done, but it, 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 it was totally different, uh, totally different style, new action team mm -hmm. I hadn't worked uh, with before, but really true professionals. And I think that we also like pulled off a lot of bigger stunts that I hadn't done before in this movie. And so uh, I had a lot of fun. I mean, it's always nice to do something you haven't done before, obviously, and, and <laughs> up the level and give your audiences something that they haven't you know, seen before from you. Excellent. Thank you for that. So, uh, so in your in your childhood or, or, or youth, did you practice any kind of martial arts, or did you come to experience it right when you start working on, on, on films or in cinema? Well, you nailed it. I started um, in cinema. Uh, I, you know, when I started in this genre, I was um, I was an athlete in school. I was a runner and a swimmer. Oh, really? So, I mean, I, I was not flexible. I couldn't even touch my toes. So I had no flexibility, nothing. And when I started in it, I just thought, my God, this is such an impossible thing to do. Like all these things that they want me to do. But, you know, over the years, obviously I, I, I learned, I trained for each project. And, you know, I think for me, I, I really, when I take something on, I'm very serious about it. I, I, I jump in and I give everything. And so, so I do, people do think that I'm a martial artist. Or I come from that background, like Jackie Chan or any of these people. And I am absolutely not even remotely on their level. But what I do do is I, I I do my thing on film. Great, thank you for that. So, so being the protege uh, an action film, there's always the risk that a character like this uh, can fall. We're falling to kind of a cartoonish cartoonish character. However, the the nuances, the the seriousness, the mystery that you provide with your extraordinary performance uh, mm -hmm. avoids falling into that trap. So. And it makes it register like credible, genuine, and even with some humor. So was it like that written in the script? Was it something that you created with the director or did you just feel like, the, the, you know, that you can make it your, yours? Uh, first of all, thank you for that. That means a lot <laughs> because that really is uh, what we were trying to do. Um, it was both, you know, we had this great script. So we did have the basis for for uh, telling telling the story that, you know, Richard wanted to tell that was you know, character driven, you know, fully arced and realized. And these these were great characters to begin with. But yes, we okay. were able to make it our own. Martin and I uh, worked on a lot of rewrites. Um, we we certainly uh, infused like who we were once we were cast in, in the character. The humor was important to us. We wanted to make sure that, you know, that you're not, that it's not one note, that you're not just like watching an action film and you can't have a good time. You can't laugh. You can't be sad in moments. You can't, you know, want to cheer in moments. You have to have all of those emotions because the reality is the human experience is all of those emotions, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're yeah. going to the cinema and you're, and you're watching something, no matter what genre it is, and you're not experiencing all of that, then you're not really being human, right? And so that, <laughs> that's really what we wanted to do with these characters. Um, and and Martin really was the, the 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 ringleader in that. He was so adamant that these people were were funny and traumatized and sad and hopeful and all the things. So talking about about Martin, this is a, a director who knows about action and about this type of characters. And 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 you had the chance to also work with legends like Michael Keaton and Sam Jackson. So I am I am one of the guys who thinks that. You, you learn something new every day. So was it like this with this with these guys, with these this colleagues or, or let me put it this way. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it was the other way around. They probably learned a lot oh, from you. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Well, I'm gonna go with that. They definitely learned so much from me. <laughs> you know, I, um, I did, I'm like you. I mean, I, I learned from everyone. I mean, I, I, I don't care if you're nine years old or you're 90 exactly. years old, there's always something, right? That everyone offers. And that's why 
I love working with other actors. I love having this experience. I watch people, I see what they bring. It makes me mm -hmm. excited. You know, it makes me proud to see people succeed and have performances that matter. And I think for me with these legends, obviously from my director to my co-stars, mm -hmm. um, it's it's sometimes it takes so many years obviously to bring like a breath of experience to like what it is that you're watching and i mm -hmm. think with these men um and that's really what it was right it's like i get to see this many years of experience at work in the way that they did it and um, and that for me is always a new experience and there's always something to learn um from them but i was i was very inspired by even in doing it so long that no, none of them were jaded. None of them were mm -hmm. better than it. They were all generous and collaborative and kind. And so we were able to have, you know, a, a good relationship off screen so that we were able to build what we needed to build on screen. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Um, you started your career working in Asian films. So is there any difference between uh, Asian cinema or, or, and, and Hollywood uh uh, films at least while while working on this type of action sequences or fighting choreographies? Sure. I mean, I mean, essentially it's the same process in terms of, right, okay. you're executing the script, you're putting all the time and energy into it, but very different ways they go about achieving a, a final product, you know. Um, so I think that I probably started in the, in the toughest business that you can over there because um, you don't always have, you know, full scripts. You don't have, you know, you have a lot of harsh conditions. You, there's no unions. There's very little protection. Oh, really? You're working very long hours. You know, there's a <laughs> lot of those things. And so um, I'm really glad I, I started in that because I think it, it made me tough. I mean, it made me able to endure. I mean, when I got to Hollywood, my first movie was Mission Impossible 3. And I remember thinking, am, am I vacation? Like, what is this? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely working hard. I'm doing my thing. But also, like, it's just so luxurious. I mean, the whole experience is just like a whole nother level. And so, um, you know, it's Hollywood for a reason, obviously. But I, I really value my, my, my first experiences in film and television because um, they were tough and they, they taught me a lot. And so I, I think that I, once I got to Hollywood, you know, I had a real, real solid work ethic that I brought with me. Excellent. I think I think my time's up. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me a couple of minutes to talk about this wonderful, exciting uh, project. So I'm hoping for a sequel. Uh, oh, that's, that's <laughs> nice. you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Have a great day and, and stay safe. That's important. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Okay.